Hi, Caleb with Brownouts here. In this week's From the Vault, we're going to be taking a look at the SKS. The SKS was originally designed in, uh, it well, the design started in 1944, finished in 1945, uh, and it was a gun used by the Soviet Union, and it was used all the way up until 1958. It was rendered obsolete by the uh, AK-47. And this particular firearm here is actually a licensed Chinese copy. The People Republic of China manufactured a ton of these and they're imported into the US in crazy numbers. Uh, just taking a quick look at the gun here, we'll start at the butt. You have a metal butt plate and you have a little trap door here to store oil um, to keep the weapon, to, to maintain the weapon. A uh, good little nifty place there. This wooden stock has certainly seen better days, uh, but that just goes to show you that, you know, they can pretty much last forever. This one's been around quite a while. You have a rear sling swivel here. You have another one in the front for a two-point sling. You have your standard bottom metal here for the SKS. SKS has an internal 10-round uh, magazine and that's going to be fed from the top. As you can see here you have a nice stripper clip guide so you can, got, you can uh, load them from the stripper clip or you can single feed them in. Uh, 762 by 39. And going on from there we have a safety selector on the bottom that's fire and you have safe right there super easy to manipulate uh, mainly only for right hand use you'd have kind of a hard time doing it left handed if you're a left lefty like me I'm left eye dominant but uh, moving on from there you have your bolts assembly and you have a rear sight here measures all the way up to a thousand meters but uh, you'd be quite pressed to shoot this 762 by 39 at a thousand meters but that's mainly for a volley fire if you have a you know, large group. It is a military weapon, or military firearm, I should say. And uh, going on from there, obviously, you have this bayonet. The bayonet mounting system is integral to the barrel, so it's, it's not removable, but it, it folds up nice and easy here. You have your shrouded military-style front sight. And uh, moving on from there, this one has no provisions for any kind of muzzle attachment. And that's the general overview of the SKS. Now, if you're a gamer like me, you know, a good, easy, affordable weapon in Escape from Tarkov, this is the one to get. You can chamber this bad boy in 7.62.39, run the BP ammo, and this is an excellent gun for your runs. Uh, but moving on from there, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a quick field strip on it. Going to go ahead and push that follower down, get the bolt forward, and we have our rear takedown lever here. We're just going to lift that up, pull it straight out and the dust cover comes off. Now I will say, you see a lot of aftermarket dust covers that have Picatinny rails and things like that on them, but those are absolutely horrible. There's no way they're gonna maintain zero, because you see, even with the, the takedown lever in place, it moves. So, you know, if you're looking at putting an optic on this firearm, the dust cover mount is not the way to go. But take off your dust cover, really cool spring assembly comes out, and then you can pull your bolt out. All the way back lift it up you have your bolt carrier with your charging handle on it and then you have the bolt assembly and that's it for the field strip it's extremely easy and then putting it back together is just the opposite way we're going to lock this ledge of our bolt into our bolt carrier on the back here those two are going to lock together just like so we're going to insert them as a unit into the receiver they have to go in the back of the receiver we're going to push that follower down, push the assembly forward. The recoil spring, you notice the back of it is curved here. The spring's not as captured as much as it is on the front. The straight portion is going to go inside the bolt carrier. Then we're going to simply just take our dust cover, slide it on, and push our takedown pin in. So although this particular one right here is Chinese and they were originally uh, Russian Soviet Union guns, they were used pretty much in every Warsaw Pact country. Uh, they were everywhere. They fired the common 762 by 39, which was being mass produced in pretty much all those countries. Uh, so this, this firearm saw wide use. So the firearm itself was pretty inexpensive to manufacture and they imported them all over the place. They imported a ton of them to America uh, and they're still pretty affordable. They're very good, reliable, rugged, solid designs. Uh, you know, the Russian engineering, they're you know, just built like tanks. Um, and firing the 7.62 by 39, 
that's still a really good affordable round. You can find it almost anywhere. So it's all in all, they were an excellent design. So if you have an SKS uh, or if you'd like to add anything to this, feel free to leave us a comment down below. If you have any questions, give us a call on the tech line. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the Volt. <laughs>